Uh, no. We're gonna give you some fresh food. Wow, the ripe shaber fruit. These are delicious. Will the, this will please the queen so uh, vicious. Here, hold my knife while I get these prepared. Thank you so much. My life is spared. I forgot his voice, so I'm just giving him the generic voice that I've been giving every old person here. It was a solid, well-made, sharp kitchen blade. Time to get the fuck out. Please don't look. Just booking it with your knife, my man. At least you gave me the knife rather than setting it down and me running away with it, right? Like, I asked nicely. And why did we need a knife? It was to stab the queen. No, no, not, 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 not actually. Where I think pretty non-violent throughout this entire game. Other than, like, murdering the frog. Let's, I whisper to the animal, this is a truce, you stay calm and I'll let you loose. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing, I hope. Not a good idea taking that rope. Take care of the herd, I'll take care of the queen. She's dangerous to you all, I'll intervene. The rope seems strong and quite long. Oh, oh, um, the water was murky, almost unclear. The smell of manure was quite severe. Gross, absolutely disgusting. Just, just nasty. Okay, so we've got rope, knife, seed, squirt bottle with sleepy water in it, needle, and the drill gun. I do believe was everything we needed. Let's go take on the queen. Because remember, we, we, we do actually have the map for in here. We just have to do this in the dark. It's a dark maze. Don't you guys love dark mazes? Uh, the tunnel is narrow and tight. The darkness gave me a fright. I could feel the chute split. Could I continue or should I quit? So yeah, it was uh, it was the blueprint on the uh, on the workbench in the lab. I might be flashing up a diagram of it right now if I remember. But yeah, it was go down a fork, then up a fork, then up a fork. So down, and don't get shot into the like giant spider engine. What was I doing in this dark maze? Again, the shaft split in two ways. Again, I could feel the tunnel split. Should I go up or down or quit? No, nope, you go up. And then it leads you to the little diamond icon. Just keep crawling across the path. Just as my heart filled with dread, I saw a sliver of light ahead. Conk a thonk donk. The queen sat there quite relaxed while her people were dying taxed. It looked like the queen lived quite well that she kept her people conditions like hell. A beautiful wooden drawer sat in the corner on the floor. From the chute, I could see a plate full of fruit and a bottle of brute. Uh, what do we got here? Amarita's staff was directly below, stuck in a hole, emitting a blue glow. It lined up with my expectations. It seemed Amarita kept gloomy decorations. Well, let's long shot it. I took a deep breath. It was quite alert. I aimed at the glass and then squirt. Dude, I am the best. Get zonked the hell out. Dude, the bug eyes are great. Bonk. Ah, my potion had worked. The queen was asleep. From the look of it, her slumber was deep. Oh, okay. Nothing new. Um, and now we rope. Here it went, my only hope. Luckily, I was quite good with a rope. It worked. The staff was taken. I'd give it to Gopal before she would awaken. Gopal couldn't help but laugh. Oh, it's a miracle. You got the staff. The wielder of Verda's spear decides our next frontier. But what do I do? How can it be used? I'm not a leader. I'm just confused. I won't pretend to know its mode of operation. Can you feel its power? A strange sensation? I I don't know. Maybe I feel a hint of vertigo? Screen shake can't be good. 
Ah, shit. Voldemort's here. Or Aunt Palpatine. Just all everyone wrapped up in the queen. Ah, it's not vertigo you feel, it's fear. Now please give me back my spear. It's a staff, it's not a spear. Don't come closer, she won't say please. You plebeian fools, get down on your knees. You're no queen of man, Ruth. It's your time to shine. Uh, strike. You shall not pass. The staff can only be controlled by someone who's crossed the threshold. Uh, point. zip 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 zap The staff will never obey. It's not some child's play. Wave it around. Oh, we go, we go, we go. Your effort is lackluster. Stop waving it like a feather duster. Oh, uh, mm, force pull is not great. Now you've had your little insurrection. What punishment is apt for such disaffection? For giving me the cold shoulder, I guess I'll have to... You'll have to get older. Ruth, quickly run and hide before she, before she, before she has us both tied. Thank you, Kapal. Much appreciated. I had to think of something quick. Emerita was mad and she had her stick. Uh-oh, red is not good. This time there is no escape. I will crush you like a grape. Good thing I've got the knife. Don't come closer. I have a knife. That little thing won't save your life. Flick. Oh, Jesus. How dare you board my ship and meddle with my power. Say your prayers now. This is your final hour. For your sins, you'll pay the ultimate price. Your life will be a useless sacrifice. Uh, yo, please don't. Can't you see the suffering? Your people are defeated. This would have never happened if they weren't maltreated. No one can help you or hear you cry. You are alone, and now you die. Oops. That's a problem. Guys, that's, that's a problem. The gears were closed. Could I use them somehow? I had to move quick. I had to act. Ow. A simple human is no match for me. I will end you, no matter your plea. Well, fucking refuse then. I faced my fear. I've got nothing to lose. You're a coward. Bring on the abuse. There will be no refusing. There will be death. You're losing. Oh, when I refuse, I get lifted higher. Unlike the orange pipes that were everywhere, a shiny gray metal pipe was up there. Ow. Okay. Scream if you must. Your end is nigh. The time has finally come for you to die. Here's the puzzle. You can plead to go here and refuse to go here. Now, hope you're good at timing. I've faced my fear. I've got nothing to lose. You're a coward. Bring on the abuse. I'm just not reading these if they're happening because there's a couple of times I need to do this. So let's undo the pipe. When the pipe got loose, it almost fell. It sounded faintly like a cowbell. Oh. Oh, we've got clues. We're all good. Now we're pleading. Let's stop those gears with a seed. The cog speed was halted by the seed. Okay, so far so good. Okay, now we are going to plead again. I think that was a new line of dialogue, but I just don't care. Now we're gonna put the rope on there. I tied the rope to the spinning thing. Maybe it could work as a sling? I'm building a bit of a Rube Goldberg contraption here and it's kind of stupid. I was stuck here a hot minute the first time I played through this, I'm gonna be honest. And then we tie the can onto that string. I like this, this was the dumb face I was making. Like, uh, like, uh, like, uh. MV, MVC, most valuable cow. Oh shit. That's not great. Like a, like a, please, no, don't leave me, don't let go. Blech. You, you saved me, you came in the end. You've always been loyal, always my friend. I'm sorry, but she will depart. The queen's staff went straight through her heart. Damn, still breathing and it's straight through the heart. And you're too late. Can we take her to the age machine? Maybe it can fix her. Make her clean? Again, with the age machine, like, no, that is not the solution. The age machine is like a, a terrible thing to do to sentient life. It's not great. I missed your line because I was stuck up on this. Like a was a magnificent beast, we will pray for the deceased. Your friend paid the ultimate price. Make good of her sacrifice. 
The elders stood silent, terrified, waiting, anxious, while I cried. It broke my heart to see her gone, but a tiny voice whispered, You must go on. Take the spear, have no fear. Don't be sad. It's not the end. Fill your heart with the love from your friend. It didn't need to have that wet, sloppy sound effect when I plucked it out of my dying friend's corpse. Brainless animal, what a disgrace. I order you to get back in your place. Oh shit, high definition pants. Your reign is over. You're no longer queen. Let's take her to the age machine. Get hype! And Ruth dragged the queen to the age machine, where all the elders gathered. It was quite the scene. And Marina was forced to withdraw all the years. It was a coup d'etat. Really like the soundtrack in this game. It's awesome. Everyone got back their youth. It was a just affair, while Amrita withered and turned to dust in the air. That's metal as hell. Something's a little bit off about the back of the ship, though. I'm a little concerned. Y yikes. After years of stealing age and causing mistrust, all left of Amrita was some bones and dust. We owe you, Ruth. You gave us back our youth. A veil has been lifted, how? It's great how I feel. This calls for a celebratory meal. It came true. My calculations were correct. You came to our aid. You came to protect. We have all healed. The staff is now yours to wield. Boy, it feels good having lost the neck of a turkey. Not to mention having two of something perky. <laughs> you saved my life and you took care of my son. I can't thank you enough for what you have done. Hopefully the future will bring you much joy. And you, Helene, went back to being a boy? Yeah, being old was too tough. I'll be grown up soon enough. She got what she deserved, she had it coming. Now we're free, I can't stop humming. But what about the milk beasts? Won't they die? My cows will never become a youth supply. I'm sure together we can lift this curse. We can go anywhere in the universe and, and steal life from other things. Like, just grow, like, plants, and then take the life from the plants that you're growing and put it into the... Anyways, I missed that line. Ship's fucked. Damn! Look at Scruffy! This ain't looking so good. I've still got the same voice, even though I'm younger. I've had this voice since I was 14 year old. The engine's overheating. We'll fall to the ground if we can't get the ship fleeting. That fire doesn't look good. I'm scared. Do you have any idea how it can be repaired? Someone's turned off the steam vents from the outside. I can't get them open even from here even if I tried. Uh, uh-oh. I might be the one to blame for this. I did something earlier to stop the steaming hiss. We can't get the vents open, we're doomed. Gravity will soon have us consumed. How do I get outside? Uh, the over shit. The hover sledge. The hover sledge fixed. Fancy ride. Damn. Dangerous as hell. You'll, you'll have to, you'll have to jump off when we're over the lever. I'll take you quick. It's now or never. Oh yeah, you're the color of your font voice change. That's what threw me for a second. Okay. Oh no 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 no! I don't want to go over there. Oh no! Stay out of the smoke. It'll make your hover sled choke. There we are. Yes. Please bring me up over here, and let me. Oh no 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 no! Don't jump now. It's moving too fast. Wait until we're not moving past. Run, open the exhaust before everything's lost. Oh, I can. Yeah, I can get over here. Let's fucking fix this spoon. Ah, god damn it. Stop laying around on the job. You need your multi tool back. It's very important. Ah. Weird that, like, it's doing chromatic aberration at this point in time. But again, I think it's just flexing, like, what the engine can do. Come on. Get the spoon. Get the spoon, my man. That's a close one. Absolutely nailed the landing. Woo! 
I sure do hope that none of the town folks saw that. That was close, but you saved the day. What you've done for us, we'll never repay. Let's get back on board. It's time to say goodbye to this fjord. Am I actually leaving? Am I going on a trip to the stars? Past this, like, cool mountain home that I have? Leaving my dead parents up there? God, I love the wind physics on his biker mustache. It's perfect. Also, is it implied that the mother also found her way into outer space? Like, I, I don't know, maybe. Maybe, we don't know. Ooh, maybe it's aliens that took her. Oh, I'm crying. Old days, I must leave you behind. My future is elsewhere. Today, I'm unconfined. That is still, like, a really cool spaceship design. And you can actually tell, like, where all the parts are. Like, that's the actual dome where the, the sacred cows are stored. and It's it's, it's neat. And there's, like, the back with the two different sides. And then you had the, the upper quarters there, which I was taking on the elevator. The end. Yeah, that, was a, that was a short adventure game, by the way. A game by Mattis Folkstead. Yeah, fantastic one person, like, proof of concept that they were doing this. Thanks to friends and strangers for all the encouraging words along the way. I hope you guys enjoyed Milkmaid of the Milky Way. I had a fun time, uh, mostly just an exercise in voice acting and being able to read without tripping up my words. I'm sorry, I didn't do as best a job as I could, but it was all right. And you know what, honestly? Just a really nice showcase of some beautiful art, some beautiful music. And special thanks go out to that, uh, Herbert Boland for the barn sound effect from freesound.org. We need choice barn sound effects. Got anything else? Are we just gonna just gonna ride this one out on the title screen? Yep, we're done. That's it. There is no exit from here. Music's just gonna loop here in a minute. So yeah, thanks again for sticking around, guys. See you next time.